Hey everybody, so today we're doing a color change and I'm going to use the cream of nature uh, dark chocolate. That was like the darkest brown that they had and I wanted to do a step above black and then transition over to straight black. But I couldn't find it and I should have went to like Sally's or like Armstrong. But I was being lazy so I just went and settled. So anyways, the section that I'm doing, um, sectioning off is going to be where I'm going to add a pop of color. And the reason why I'm changing it is because the black... It's kind of like harder to maintain than any colors that I've done. It looks kind of ashy fast. So if it's not like a really dark uh, dark blue, then like it gets to looking dry. So I was like, well, I will just dye it black. So, you know, like the darkest color that I can so they can add luster to, to my locks and just be done with it. But of course, like I said, I'm doing a pop of color because I can't just commit to all over dark color that's gonna stress me out anyway so we're starting with dampening our hair because this is a semi color you want it to be able to spread everywhere um and i'm just taking it and applying it loosely it comes in a tube so i mean i just squeeze it out and run it through my hair So, for me, the cream of nature definitely didn't work. It was still hues of blue. And I let that sit on for 25 minutes and it still wasn't it. So, I went behind with the Jazzy Black and I, this was like jet black. And so, I went ahead and put that on on top of the um, cream of nature. And I got better results that way. I should have just really did like a midnight black blue. And then after that, did a black. But either way go we got to where I needed to go with the black and so um with the jazzy I sat under the dryer until it was completely dry and I put it on a cool temperature and um so it took probably about an hour 45 minutes to an hour for it to completely dry and then I rinsed it out with cold water and shampooed my hair like normal and it turned out way better that way and I was happy Now for my section, I just did 10 volume and some developer. And um, the reason why I did 10 volume is because it's just going to act like a color remover and just remove the color. It's not going to remove it all the way, but it'll bring it to a lighter color so that I can apply my color that I want to apply on top of the stripped, the stripped locks. And um, I started with just applying it to the ends of my hair and I left about an inch of my roots. And once I've done that and I let the ends kind of change it a little bit, then I apply it to my roots so that my roots are like bright, bright, bright. And my locks are like a low color. And then that way they all, it's all the same color consistently from the top of my hair to the bottom. And then you put the foil on. If you want to, you can blow dry that section just so that it can help process faster. But I just let it do what it do. And after that, I apply. I didn't get to show you guys the color that I put on for the strip, but it was like a fuchsia type of like pink color. But anyways, this is the finished product, and I like it. It's different. Mm, I like the black actually. Like I really like the way the black makes my hair. See, it like makes it look like shinier. So yeah, I like it. I like the pop of color. 
Okay. Oh. Yeah, can y'all tell? Because I'm loving it, actually. So, yeah, I'll style it next time because I'm really in need of an interlock. And I'll show you guys a hairstyle that'll get you over when it's time for your interlocks. <sighs> but, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.